I'm a professor here at the Faculty of Veterinary Science. I've worked with animal welfare for over 20 years. The five freedoms represent one of the best concepts we have in animal welfare. They represent the goals that we should strive for in ensuring the welfare of animals in our care. I believe that it's important for farming industries to engage with animal welfare and to demonstrate their performance in animal welfare. Freedom from hunger and thirst means for feedlot cattle, providing a diet that meets all their nutritional needs and providing water of sufficient quality and sufficient quantity. Well, cattle are just like us. I mean, we don't like drinking dirty water and neither do cattle. And so therefore it's really important to have a constant and clean supply of water for them. It's not just clean water that needs provided, it's enough clean water that needs to be provided. And, and uh, livestock staff are very meticulous about making sure that every pen is provided with uh, good quality water uh, every day. Most feedlots store about a week's worth of water on hand at any one time and it's distributed to the cattle in troughs in each pen. Those troughs are cleaned two or three times a week and are generally checked three or four times a day. Most feedlots have uh, a number of practices or, or steps in which they monitor the feed that they buy and the quality of that feed and the storage of that feed so we can be sure that the cattle are getting the most consistent and safe feed that we can provide. We use predominantly sorghum, wheat, barley, cottonseed, hay, silage and most of the grain is uh, grown within about 100, 150 kilometres um, of, of this feedlot and that's the same with most feedlots in Australia. Cattle need a diet that has adequate components of protein, of energy and very importantly of roughage. Our rations that we formulate are, are through a consulting nutritionist and they're designed to meet the animal's nutritional requirements. Nutritionists play a key role in the health and well-being of uh, feedlot cattle. They're involved from day one in provision of good quality ration to cattle in the first week on feed and on their last week on feed. Our feeding program is designed to make sure that our cattle always have adequate access to feed at any point in the day. So as you imagine, in a drought, in some situations, producers may run out of feed and so a feedlot there is an insurance policy for want of a better word to ensure that you know, those cattle don't suffer a nutritional deficit um, and they're able to continue growing as they naturally would. 